Yay! Welcome to the World Summit in Mike Simple Gatto's living room. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we'll be covering Pat Quinn's speech during the World Summit, who is my idol, my mentor, and a person who can make the storytelling process so simple that the baby can do it. All right, so you can treat this as a 10-minute course on how to make your social media storytelling super simple. All right, we'll be covering uh, this process in a second, but before I do, I wanted to share with you a few things that Pat shared because I think it's a very uh, important foundation for the whole thing. So I wanted to ask you, as, as Pat asked the, the audience, what is better, predictable or unpredictable? Boom. Obviously, you will answer predictable and why the predictable is better because if we can predict something That means we are willing to do it more likely because we don't have the fear Right, so people would go and and try something that they're not fearful of right easy so have to make sure that when we're telling the stories we are sort of predictable right and we're giving them some ideas what they can expect in the future all right now in order to do that in order to make sure that you are predictable right for others and for yourself as well right you have to know this one big secret okay you ready for the secret the secret to storytelling is getting a real clear crystal clear clarity on what is the problem that you're solving with your story. Right? If you really know why you're telling the story, what is the reason why you tell the story? Then it, it makes it so super simple because no matter if you have it scripted or you're just giving the story out of your head, right? You're just improvising. You know the purpose, you know why you're saying it. So just use whatever words, but at the end of the day, you have to get to the bottom of it. You have to get to the result that was in your head in the first place, right? So this is a very, very important thing, okay? And now I wanted to ask you a question, all right? Let me know, let me know if, uh, in the comments below, if you've been in that situation before, okay? that you were talking, telling something, uh, some stuff to people, right? Or you were in the middle of the speech and then you ended up the speech. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I was there many times and I would really like to see the comments below, guys. Who else was there? Because if you're, if you're, if you're not putting a comment right now, that means you're not true to yourself. We're all there and I've been there so many times because I'm a school teacher after all. Right? As a school teacher, that's my, that's my sole purpose. Make sure that my students understand what I'm sharing, right? So I'm sharing some knowledge, I'm sharing some tips, whatever I'm sharing. I want my students to understand. And that's, my, that's the question in my head. But that's not how it's done. What I need to know is a very, very different thing. I need to understand my students and not make them understand me. Right? That's so, that's as simple as that, right? This is, and this is also what Pat was saying about your customers, right? You have to understand the customer and not make the customer understand what you have to offer. So simple, right? Amazing, right? So if you know that, how to do that? Well, so you can, uh, Pat is suggesting this exercise. Write down these three sentences in your notebook or whatever and the sentence is what your ideal customer asked himself or herself yesterday just that right just these three questions put yourself in, in the shoes of, of your dream customers and ask yourself three questions being that person right and then your job is to help them go through this right so now uh, one thing that you need to we need to remember also that's the last tip from from Pat is that when you're when you're taking your customers your students through this process you have to meet them on their ground and that means you have to use the language they would use don't try to be 
smarter than your customers don't try to be you know put your build a wall between you and your customers go to them right meet them on their ground use their language use their fears that were also in you when you were in their position all right so now how you can do this how you can use this process and do it in three minutes and turn this whole thing into a story it will take you three minutes amazing all right you ready so pat says that he's covering it with the three act story act one act two act, act three which is very cool because this is exactly what i'm teaching my students with my mess structure right so we say that there is a part that is before right which is what your customers are right now right or the situation they are right now then there is a pivot there is a discovery there is the epiphany bridge right that's the second part of the story so this is your search this is what you did in order to go from here to here and then finally act three is the after effect or which is either now or you just right after you discovered something all right so now let me give you an example of the of this um, of how it works all right so let's say i'm going to use my example so characteristic one you have to put three characteristics over here that describes me back then right so i said i will say here i was a frustrated frustrated teacher right frustrated teacher i need to write fast because i don't want you to fall asleep over here okay i was frustrated teacher and i didn't really like my job because i felt like my students were not interested with the knowledge i was sharing you know i was burned out burned out I was burned out. I had completely lost my passion for teaching because my students, they didn't love the learning process. So how can I love my, my, te my teaching job if, if I'm making my students miserable, right? Then finally, my life didn't matter. I felt like my life didn't matter, right? Because every day I was waking up in the morning, I was doing the same thing like a robot and nothing was happening. I was not bringing anything to anyone, no impact whatsoever, right? So that's my past, okay? Now it's time to take your audience from there where they are. So you're already hooked to you, they're already connected. Now you're taking them from here and bringing them to now, to the promised land, right? So you, take, you walk them through the epiphany bridge, right? every single time from this to this from this to this we're giving them the result this part over here the third part is the part when that says that this is what your dream customer wants the most these are the dreams of your dream customer so let's say result one i want it erase this okay here let's say result one uh, I wanted to teach what I am passionate about. Sorry, this 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 writing might not be too good, but uh, I hope you forgive me for that. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to do it fast. Uh, so I wanted to teach what I'm passionate about, what I really like. Right? I was burned out before. And I wanted my students, I wanted uh, to be excited, right? To be excited about my job. I wanted to be excited about my job. I wanted to bring something important to my students. I wanted to love what I do. But the only way to do it would be to have it from the other side as well, right? I can, I can be passionate about what I'm doing. I can do it when I see there is a love from my students, right? So then the, the third part is my, my life didn't matter, right? I 
brain impact. Right? I bring impact and change the lives of my students. Right? So now let me, let me walk you through the epiphany so you see how it works. I'd say, before I was a frustrated teacher and I really hated my job because I was teaching everything that I didn't care about and I was teaching everyone, right? Then I discovered that there is self-education business. There is knowledge business out there. And now I can teach what I'm really passionate about and I'm teaching only those who, are really, who really wants to know that. Before, I was a burned out teacher and I, I lost my passion completely. I lost my passion for teaching because I didn't feel the love from my students. They, they just hated the learning process, really. Then I discovered the knowledge industry, the self-education in self industry, and now I can be excited about what I'm doing. I can teach exactly what I want, and I can teach only the people who really want this knowledge, and they're super grateful for this. Before, my life didn't really matter. Because I was going to school and I was delivering the curriculum that I didn't really know why, was, why that curriculum was there and not a different one. And most of my students would never apply that, right? But then I discovered self-education and knowledge industry and now I'm making a huge impact on my students and I'm literally changing their life. And that is how you tell the epiphany story guys in three minutes how was that did you like it yay so pat made it super super simple right this structure and the epiphany bridge structure gives you an amazing opportunity to connect attract connect with your audience and the last and the, the, the last bit that you're missing over here is interaction engaging with your audience you have to call them to action which is a very simple thing to do because all you need to do is turn this this epiphany over here into your offer this is your offer right so now the only thing you need to do is tell them okay so now if you also want to be like me if you want you want to live your life you want to love what you're doing and you want to matter every single day join me and on my journey and i will walk you through this whole process step by step so you don't have to do it alone join my something something program and that's it pretty much right i'm not calling to action over here because i'm just delivering you the knowledge but you know what to say this is the moment when you're just giving them a few benefits right what it's going to give them right how, they, how how you're going to help them and boom they're going and signing in for your program for your for your course for your mastermind or whatever else you have over there right so let me know guys in the comments below if that was helpful and if you love pat quinn as much as i love this guy uh, and uh, i see you on another video take care